Well, we're back to another you can't make this up. Liberals are so incensed over the Supreme Court correctly interpreting the Constitution to realize abortion is never mentioned. Therefore, it is not a power of the state. Therefore, it is for the states to legislate. Once again, the Dobbs decision does not criminalize or make illegal in any way abortion. It states that all 50 states, each one of them will issue their own laws. But liberals are the party of, no, I don't care that you won the election. Obey me. I'm not even going to scroll down because the videos are very graphic and they are upsetting. But the very people who screamed that Trump was attacking the free press when he called Brian Stelter a liar or Joe Scarborough or Mika Brzezinski or Jim Acosta or Fredo Cuomo because they are liars. They lie all the time. When Jim Acosta laid hands on a young female intern and was not praised for defending his right to speak but was in fact kicked out until a liberal judge told the people who live at the White House, no, you can't tell him he can't come in whenever he wants. The left praised Acosta because, of course, the woman was not worthy of being protected from a man who wants to lay hands on her because he feels he's the only one allowed to talk. No. But when they don't get their way, they riot. And they attack journalists. Police had to fire tear gas from government buildings because they were being attacked from the street. Quite honestly, we should have woken up the day after that decision was released to news stories about thousands upon thousands upon thousands of arrests. video of these liberals rioting, trying to kill, trying to burn buildings down. And then when DAs try to say no charges, say, uh, no, no. These are being charged by the federal government because these people are domestic terrorists. We've already charged them with domestic terrorism. Take a decision out of your hands. Sure, the DAs will be all over Twitter and all over news saying they're just trying to to stifle free speech. And quite honestly, what needs to happen is every time one of them says that, play the videos that are down below. And I will give you the link so you can watch them if you want, but they're not suitable for everyone. But you should play the video of the liberals in Seattle beating the living tar out of a Christian man before destroying his Bible. Is that free speech? Or how about the videos of them shooting fireworks at police, which can kill? Is that free speech? Or the videos of them trying to invade the Arizona Senate while it's in session? Is that free speech or was that an insurrection? They were invading the government building. We need to stop pussyfooting around and letting these liberal DAs and liberal judges Say, oh, no, they weren't really trying to hurt you when they stabbed you. They were just upset at your hate speech. I've said it so many times, I'm a broken record. But the day is coming when, like Canada, we will simply be told we have no right to life, no right to self-defense. We will be told we have no rights at all. And, well, that's the day I become an outlaw. And anyone sent to bring me in will have to kill me. Because, quite frankly, when they want to say this type of thing is mostly peaceful protest, but 6th January where no one was armed but the police, Brian Sickness did not die of anything that happened on 6th January. He died the next day of natural causes. And the only death was an unarmed female Air Force veteran named Ashley Babbitt, shot by a man who was on the other side of a window from her. But everything shown in this story, perfectly fine. 
We don't have a government. We have tyrants who demand we simply obey. And my goal is to make them extremely angry every day of their lives by telling them no. And I can tell you, I see this happening. I'll spend the night in jail for stopping them. And I've got a lot of friends of mine who will too. Right now, they're not coming to Texas because they know, well, they might get shot when they attack someone. But the day is coming when they will show up. And they will be chanting and, and dancing and all that, saying, you can't do anything. We have rights. We have rights. And then they'll get violent. And then they'll be stopped with extreme prejudice. And in court, they'll whine and cry about their rights. And all that will have to be said is, Your Honor, I was assaulted. Here's the wound where I was stabbed. So I put the, my attacker on the ground to wait for police. Others stopped their accomplices from attacking me further. At that point, it's just a question of has the judgment paid off? Fairly certain all the judges have been paid off so far because the story, I don't know of any arrest made. At least not any that actually resulted in charges. They should have. But let me know what you think. As always, keep it civil. We're here to discuss and set and debate, not rant and rail. Make sure that you are subscribed as well with notifications on so that you are aware of anything and everything I post. Until next time, have a wonderful week. God bless.